what I was saying yesterday at Beersheba was it was hard to hear with the factory microphone or the uh, the headphone was when I was sitting there some guy comes over and he doesn't just walk over as a normal person would he he has his hand down at the at the bottom of his groin and his like both hands but one of them is kind of crossing the other and he's walking by with a spoon in his hand sticking in a in a straight uh, not like a not like a lax a daisy kind of you're just you just you have a spoon in your hand because you're waiting to chow down on some pudding or something no no this was more like a it was more like remember the guy shop right the owner when he came over and he did his masonic hand symbol with the straight up over crossed over put down looked over did a signal to me that's what the that's what the guy at Beersheba was doing yesterday and at the same time he heard me talking in his ear and then I, what I did was I freaked him out because I tapped right into his uh, earpiece and started talking directly to him about what he's doing and and I was watching his reaction with the words that I was saying and every time when I was saying something to him he had a, a, a like a knee-jerk reaction it was pretty funny so what I was saying was he came walking over with this spoon in his hand in a in a straight crossed over that parallel to his waist not moving with his hands one crossed over the other almost as if that secret handshake the masonic handshake is the fact that your hand comes out of your uh you know your side remember when john and i was saying remember when jonathan click rang the bell 226 three years ago and then he said remember that lay it a year after that, he said, remember that? When all hell broke loose? Well, nothing actually happened besides I predicted the stock market to basically collapse 3,000 points on that specific day to make it tumble. And then it just had, so happened to be the worst point loss in history. So, I mean, if you consider that all hell breaking loose, where hell is breaking loose that old serpent the old devil and he had his hand with Jonathan Clegg he had a, he, it looked like there was a handprint in his pocket and then that was the moment it was only a couple months ago I, I concluded oh that's the secret Masonic handshake you can't possibly know the handshake where maybe it was like four years ago maybe even five almost I said what are the Masons gonna gonna give me when I for knowing their script they're gonna are they gonna buy me a beer because that one guy was like if I found he's being interviewed if I figured out the secret handshake you wouldn't have to kill me <laughs> like anybody could ever possibly figure out the his secret <laughs> handshake. We'll buy you a beer. Nah, 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 buddy. It's going to be more than that. It's a little bit more than... You're going to have to give me your entire bank account. How, how about that one? How about that one there, Mr. Masonic handshake, secret handshake guy? With your hand in your pocket, you got three arms at least... So the, what the guy was doing, if I could do it, if I can re-enact it, it would have been better if I zoomed in with a camera and showed you. So just imagine this. 
some guys walking up. You, you're, you know, imagine this. You're me. You're at the Beersheba place. You already know that the entire world is just controlled by Satan and everybody that he uses. They they like to do symbols in front of your face, and they like to mock you and laugh at you and that kind of thing. But when you know exactly what it is, it changes things, right? So the guy's walking up. The spoon is parallel to his waist. It's it's just held there in such a perfect, uh, tight kind of a grip, as if it's being photo take like a photo is being taken. So where he's posing, but walking up to me, showing me that spoon that's in his hand, that's right by his groin, where it's a secret Masonic handshake, and the purpose of it is to scoop the avocados. Because Scott gave away the secrets of the... He was... I think he was live streaming during the, the commercial. Scott! Remember Scotty? He giving away the secrets. So that's what I interpreted as. That he was scooping avocado. Because that avocado comes from the host body uh, poopage. It's like the poop... poop avocado. It's green. It's, you scoop it with the spoon because when the guy was he, here's what happened just like I did with Ryan Hall y'all I tapped right into his uh, I just tapped right into him on the weather channel that one time and it led me down to the T's shirts and then he's like yikes because because how did I tap into him because everybody has a an eye. Everybody has like an eye on me. I've learned it. I've learned it. I've learned that anybody who has access has the ability to see what I'm doing at the exact moment live. Even if you're doing a live stream YouTube video like Derek Bros was that one day. And it was the second time I was on a show the second week in a row in 12-12-2021. The first time was a second, seven second delay. It felt kind of uncomfortable, couldn't really say anything. And then the next time I felt relief, like that, that panda bear uh, that Cleck was showing you the next day, he was evaluating my uh, hopping on the AM, hopping on the radio. Well, when I was researching the weather manipulation patterns in these three videos with Neil deGrasse, I was looking at all three of those videos within 10 minutes as Derek Rose is going live. And then what he starts showing in his live show are the exact three videos that I was just watching at that exact moment at that exact time. And he was talking about those three videos in real live time. So I realized, man, it, so your shows are really, really live. I mean, they are like, they're live and you can alter them. You can change the, whatever it is that you're showing live. You, you're just going to talk about it and it's so it's more live than I thought I thought more things were scripted <coughs> and I realized oh oh um Derek Bros he knows that works he knows that he knows how that works he knows the works of the, how that works that he tapped in to what I was watching as he was going live doing his show just for me I don't even understand I don't even I'm not even a Bible scholar or or an actor or a or a, a YouTube agent or like anything I'm nothing nobody and yet the attention that I get is astronomical from people like uh, Derek Rose and, and everybody from even before that Stephen James nonstop. And so I realized 
even when I was down at Beersheba before, and there were these two women, and they looked like they were twins. Well, at least that's what the ma the face mask was a, a woman's mask. And I was down there with my wife, and then I tapped into what they, because they were sitting there listening intently with no drink, no food, no, they're not even talking to each other. They're just sitting at the table right across from me and my wife, listening intently. And then that was a time where I said, yeah, it skips my buddy. Cause I was listening to some skip heightsing. And the woman just reminded me of a skip, but like same kind of family member. It looked, the lady looked similar to skip. So then that's why I said to skip. And then that's why I said something about nice day out here at the end of, you know, enjoy the weather. <clears throat> so I was talking to them because I knew that I, I knew that they were listening in, you know, with my paranoia schizophrenic that I have, because it's all true. So they were listening in and I knew it. Same thing with the guy yesterday. As I was saying, Stephen James is Sean, you want me to interpret what I'm seeing right now? Because you sent him over here. You sent him over here. You, you have him doing the spoon, the hand spoon symbol, scooping avocados because that's the secret Masonic handshake. It, it, uh, the hand pops out from your, somewhere along your pocket area. And, um, so there's no way that you can know the secret handshake unless you are either part of the Masons or, uh, or if you're just me and you figured it out. So what I was saying to the guy was, well, I was talking to Steve and Emma said, and I said, here's what I'm interpreting. You have your spoon there. You have your spoon in front of your hand because you're scooping avocados. And when I said that, he looked over at me and I stared at him and I caught eye contact because I got direct ear contact. And then I was saying something along the lines because now I'm ta tapped in. You hear exactly what I'm saying to you as I'm looking at him and then he's, he's moving and then he stops. And because I tap right into his ear and now I'm talking directly to him as he's starting to walk away. I'm like, no, you don't have to walk. You don't have to leave. And then he stopped, dead stop. And that's when I said, I'm not judging you. I'm just, I just want to let you know that I, I, you know, the Lord God told me what you're doing. And uh, so the X factor is this. Robin, are you really going to say that out loud? Are you really going to say that out loud on the YouTube platform? So anybody that clicks on can hear how ridiculous you sound right now? As if some guy just randomly walks by and he's listening to you. And then you're talking to him in his ear because everybody is... No, no, the Truman Show is just a movie. It's not real life. They don't... They, they don't really... They're not really producing a movie with you in it, Robin, as, as the true man. Because you're the one doing the, the daily true man show. And they're following you around because you're true. There's no no lie and you're not an agent from the inside because obviously we know we've been watching you from birth no that's not real that's just a movie so the X factor is the fact that I will say it out loud and you know I could be wrong it's just nothing whatsoever but I I know better that the amount of things I've experienced with this loony, loony world I live in, where everybody does a certain thing just because you're there, and and they just that they revolve their world around you when you're there. For the life of me, I couldn't understand it. It made no sense. I, it's not like I enjoy it. Uh, I just have I just have to learn to accept 
that it is true. This is true. This is this is what my life consists of. But when I when I nailed it, when I because he came back, the guy, what he did was, I as I was talking to him through his ear, because he was standing there with an intent, again listening intently, and. no other reason for being there besides he has the earpiece he wants to do a little masonic hand symbol just like the shop right owner did uh cow cow hay right showed me that masonic hand symbol so it looked familiar i called it out and once i was talking directly through the guy in his ear I can see his movements of a, of a, it's like a, I've seen it before, it's like a jolt. When you say something that's dead on, and all of a sudden it's like they're caught. I'm, I'm talking directly to the guy instead of his, instead of Steve. Like he's hearing both of us now. He heard Steve and James' evil doppelganger AI technology in his ear. And then he heard me talking directly to him now as I know that he's listening in to me. So, because that sounds ridiculous, even though it's absolutely true, in all likelihood, 100%, there's still a slight chance it isn't true, but I'll still say it anyway, and it doesn't matter what people think anymore, because I'm past that. I do it because it's a, look, when you're going to take over the planet, right, the people that are giving you their power, they're testing you all the time to see what you see, to see if you can... Because they don't want someone taking over control that you're easy that you can easily be played or easily deceived, which was the case in the beginning of my my uh, YouTube spout. Now it's harder to deceive me, and it's easier for me to see things clearer. So the people that run the planet, they just want to make sure I'm going to be able to see what everybody's doing because they don't want to hand power over to somebody who is easily deceived so there's that Steve that's that's my observation of the guy that you sent in my direction because you're the leading head of the United States gang stalker in America um, between you and Jonathan Click uh, you, you have been testing me for a long time now and you see the results but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed talking to that guy because I enjoyed making him feel uncomfortable when I nailed down exactly what he was doing. And then his wife or whoever, his other agent lady, came over and what he did was he was he looked he talked he he went with her and came back and sat down and then aimed was he was looking directly at me in my direction as I looked over at him and told him about the avocado, the spoon, what it's for. But right before that, he went back to his wife and what he was saying was, honey, I can't, this guy's talking directly to me in my ear. It's, it's freaking me out. It's freaking me out. He, he knew exactly what my avocado secret Masonic handshake was with my spoon in, in my hand. Because it wasn't like he was eating anything with a spoon that I noticed. I just thought he was drinking something. So there's that. It reminded me of when I was there before and the twin ladies were hanging out just because they knew I was going to show up there just to listen to my conversation intently. It's so unusual to be that guy that this is happening to. And, and I know damn well it's true. And... The kings of the earth and the, the planet runners have this strong interest in paying attention to, to me. And they've, they've showed it and proved it. So it's not like it's going to stop. It'll just be easier for me to see it, so I'll say it. And then the money situation with the banks collapsing. And Jacob Israel is talking about 250000 subscriber or $250,000 
your money's only protected up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. You know what that means? It means when the tables do turn, whether I hit the lottery or not, what's going to happen is when the banks they go bankrupt and and the rich elite they lose their money, like the millionaires. The only thing that's happen is their money gets transferred over into everybody else's accounts to to make it an even playing field. So if you have millions of dollars in your bank account and you don't have like 50 different banks to put $250,000 in each bank, you're going to lose your money and it's going to go in it's going to go in our accounts somehow. Because all of a sudden now the banks are collapsing. I don't think it's going to be a full full on collapse. It's more like Christ comes as a thief in the night. The entire world and the system will always be up. It will never collapse. It, it's just changing from under your feet. So that's what's going to happen. The rich, they're going to start losing their money. And it's going to trickle down to us. The 99% that don't have any money.